Hey guys, Silent CL here. Welcome back to another Uta Macross tutorial slash gacha video. So this video will be in both playlists for tutorials and the usual gacha videos playlist. So guys, we are gonna talk about the brand new inclusion of the Diva ranking system um, that just came with uh, Uta Macross version update 3.4.0. So if you guys have not updated the game, you shouldn't be able to access your game at all until you've updated the game in your app store or cool app or you know whatever places that you can download your mobile phone apps from. Alright, so let's dive into the Divas wardrobe to take a look at the new Divas ranking system um, that is actually prepared for the upcoming event um, after the Red Boss event. Which is the last event of the month, um, which Dana has featured in their special broadcast during their anniversary update. So to change things up, they are finally, I will say, removing the last event of the month, which was the high score versus event. Now, that event is now kind of redundant. We don't really know for sure because we have not seen how the solo diva or the diva ranking event is going to play out. We will find out soon enough, uh, just maybe in a week or so. Um, so yeah, let's take a look at what we have here in the Divas wardrobe. Basically, last time we only had three pink tabs, so the first three at the top here, one, two, three, um, are all the usual buttons we are familiar with. So if you want to change your Diva, you tap the first one at the top. Of course, if you want to change the clothes for your diva, you tap the second one, which will lead you, lead you to the costume page for the particular diva you have on the screen. Alright, so let's go back. Then, of course, the third tab, if you guys are not familiar with it because you have not been doing it at all, um, it's actually the gift tab where daily um, requests from your divas um, are fulfilled by giving them presents. Um, if you guys don't know about it, you probably should be doing it. Um, although I have not put up a video regarding the best gifts for each request, uh, that video has been way delayed for a very long time. That's in my, well, hard drive somewhere waiting to be compiled together. But sadly to say, as usual, I don't have time <laughs> to do so. So I apologize for that. Eventually, that video will come out someday, uh, hopefully within this year. Uh, I'm trying to compile my free time to do backlog projects, you know, and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, look forward to that video. Um, I actually had those video portions recorded, like, I think two years ago. <laughs> okay, so the brand new tab here is the Utahime ranking. So you can actually check your other divas um, ranking, as you can tell. My Ranka is fully maxed out with her, uh, I would say, passion? Or, I can't remember the term that I actually use for it, um, but yeah. So, normally whenever you give gifts or you have like the, um, the tabs here on the main screen. Yeah, this thing that the number is shown with the timer. So, yeah, normally if you do give them each of these tabs um, it's not proficiency but oh affection yes <laughs> okay so I finally remember the term the affection level of your diva is increased if you give them gifts and of course using that the tap on the screen you can do it in the decor room as well um, yeah so as you can tell Ranka is maxed out on her affection level with me because yes, she's my waifu, so she has to be maxed out. Then of course, there is the Utahime level. Um, that one, I'm not too sure how that... Um, that one... Oh wait! Okay, so I just recalled <laughs> what affects Utahime level. So basically, you know every song there is out there in this game right now? And you, have, you gather um, proficiency points for your at the end of every live that you play that affects your Utahime level so if I'm not wrong my highest diva with the highest Utahime level is actually Minmei so let's take a look um, so 
So, I am 29th placing in among my friends though. So, let me just check on the main screen here. Let me just switch out my Diva to Min Mei. Yeah, as you can tell, my affection level for Min Mei is actually 84 because my default team setup always has the first three Divas, so Min Mei, Basara, and Milane. So the three of them actually the, has the highest Diva levels right now. Um, the Valkyrie members, especially Arena and Makina, are the lowest uh, because they are in my last Diva setup team. So I'm I'm leveling up all of them um, accordingly to the the team setups that I have. So as you can tell, Ranka isn't that high in level as well because I have not moved off from the first three Divas, which is Minmei, Basara, and Lane. So yeah, <laughs> okay. So the affection level for each Diva, as you can tell, Minmei is not that uh, well. She's not maxed out, which. If you guys don't know, the max out level is currently 50. Um, as you have seen for Ranka, Ranka is already at level 50. So yeah, then of course the last, or rather the third line here with the numbers 27 out of 32. Basically, it is the costumes for that diva. Um, if you're wondering why do I have so many costumes missing from my waifu's collection, because the numbers include the alternate colors. I have not unlocked any of the alternate color costumes, um, although I do have them um, standing by to be unlocked. I'm actually trying to compile a video for all alternate costumes unlocking at one go, so look forward to that as well. And of course, there are some costumes that I've not unlocked from Ranka as well because, well, I wasn't lucky with my gacha pools. I did not get the uh, exclusive plate for the gacha. I was not able to unlock Ranka's costume the, I would say the gacha way so I had to go through the hard way by unlocking the costume with episode ops so yeah so if you tap the magnifying glass it will show you the breakdown of the points um, for your diva so the first one basically is Utahime status so I guess it's regarding with all this information here they get it and they just add it up then the second one which is zero is event status so it's probably points that you gain from the upcoming event um, at the end of the month then of course the third row it is your Kyawawa rank so I guess that's based off um, the powering up of the costumes in Makina's Kyawawa rank if you guys still don't know what that is I do have a video talking about Kiawawa rank in the tutorial playlist you can actually go and watch that so yeah so this is the costume build or the Kiawawa rank if you guys are already familiar with it so yeah that's pretty much it um, for the brand new Utahime ranking um, as you can tell all my costumes that have alternate colors have not been unlocked uh, <laughs> so yes like I said uh, look forward to that video where I unlock all alternate cast costumes um, up to this date at one go. So yes, look forward to that. Alright, so let's go back on topic of this video, which is Min Mei's brand new um, swimsuit or rather her bikini gacha. So on my YouTube Facebook page, I did mention that the gacha banner doesn't look like the advertised um, Min Mei's bikini that was showcased at the monthly update info page. So, cost mainly because Min Mei's design here, if you notice at the, the side of the, the transparent veil like uh, vest, there is that red line uh, along the costume. And um, yeah, it kind of. If you covered, if you covered the top portion without the bikini part, part um, it looked like some kind of a um, captain's outfit <laughs> because you, you can't really tell that it was transparent or translucent you know and it was like white so with that blue collar it really gave me a sense of um, false information that it wasn't her advertised bikini um, I think there's a plane flying across my neighborhood right now I'm not sure whether you guys can hear it but yeah 
Um, so anyway guys, we're gonna talk about Min Mei's brand new episode plate and see whether the plate is actually worthwhile in terms of spending more than necessary on the gacha because that's what we do here on the channel we break down brand new episode plates to see whether you want to consider spending your physical hard earned money on this um, well, digital happiness <laughs> for a temporary moment okay, so total score 3879 make sure you pay attention to who else can use the episode plate because now that is going to be a very important thing uh, with the upcoming brand new event style because if you have if you want to focus on a particular diva you have to make sure that that diva is well equipped with episode plates that are useful um, to them so kind of focusing on soul but you know still somewhat balanced out in terms of the range it's just 10 to 20 score difference you know for each particular element of the episode plates um center scale the life series plates or rather the blue element series whichever one to call it by total is boosted by 60 percent up ah, the center scale is pretty useful though so you can consider this as a center position episode plate although this Percentage could have been higher. The highest we've seen so far is 90%, but you know that just focuses on the, the diva alone. But this one, you know, emphasizes on all of the same series episode plates. So it's across the board. So any um a diva that equips the blue series episode plate, that plate stats will be improved as well. So that's pretty fantastic. Active skill. For 5 seconds, you get that 70% boost in score. Um, the highest we've seen is of course 100% with 10 seconds activation duration. Um, so even though it does have a pretty decent center skill and a pretty decent active skill, Min Mei's plate can be used as a center vision episode plate. However, it is actually more towards the live skill because it has that score repeat improvement skill so any other episode plates that has a score repeat skill um, they will be improved by this episode plate so yeah pretty pretty okay I mean the skills on this episode plate plus the pretty good total score I would say this plate is looking very good uh, one of the top tiering definitely not got tier because th those are reserved for seven star episode plates so let's take a look at the last page and see um, is this plate actually going be above and beyond with a special note? So sadly to say, nope. It just retains at a very good rate. Um, definitely something that you want to consider having because, you know, the life skill is a skill that you might want to consider having in your arsenal, especially of that series that you might be missing. Alright, and you know, the general use of the episode plate is pretty decent. So... I would say, yeah, go for it. If you have the cash for it, you know, attaining Min Mei's brand new plate is pretty good. Um, definitely not a must, but still very good. Alright, so let's try our luck. Uh, hopefully the bad luck has washed off since the 7 stars gacha appearance. My luck has been horrible since then, especially with the free gacha pools. Um, I've kind of wasted about almost 4 days worth of free gacha pools with no 5 star appearances at all. So hopefully all those bad pools have kind of washed away the bad luck. So as you can tell, I can only afford to do the 10 plate discounted pool and that's it. So yes, uh, let's just get down to it and see what kind of luck you know I'll have today. I've yet to do today's free pools though, so I, I have no idea how the luck will be like. Here we go. Uh oh. It seems like the bad luck streak continues on. Oh, this is horrible. At least give me one plate to unlock Mimei's costume via episode hops. Oh, there we go. That is the thing we wanted and it came. Okay. Not too bad, although it's still pretty horrible, <laughs> considering that not even a single 5-star plate might appear. Unless that red box evolves, 
Oh, we get two copies. That's pretty nice. Okay. Three copies. So no evolution on the red box, but you know, with three copies, it's it's a start. It's not a lot of points, but you know, it's a start. And I gotta say, this is probably Min Mei's most sexualized swimsuit that she has ever had. Um, and if you guys didn't know, yeah, the costume's name is Asian Dew. So, Dew as in like a drop. So that's why it's like blue. And it has that Chinese floral design, like uh, the Chinese chong sum, the traditional Chinese dress. Um, it has that kind of pattern, the flowery pattern design, and you know, it's featuring the lotus. So yeah, the flowery pattern is actually the lotus petals, that kind of stuff. The, the design of this swimsuit is actually very elegant and very well thought out. So kudos to whoever designed the costume. I don't know which Macross artist did it, but you know, this is really paying tribute to the original diva um, of the Chinese bloodline. So fantastic, fantastic stuff. So anyway guys, thank you guys so much for joining me on another pretty long tutorial slash gacha video. We have something like this once in a while where brand new content is uploaded, uploaded um, close to a gacha, uh, brand new gacha you know, pool. So why not combine them two together instead of doing them, uh, doing a separate thing? Because well, the Uta Hime ranking has not been fully released out yet. Um, with the brand new event not around, uh, not here, so I can't really give you a full breakdown of it until the event comes out itself. So I'm planning a live stream for the event, so we can you know go through all the things together. So keep a lookout on my YouTube Facebook page if I ever update you guys on uh, a planned live stream and that kind of stuff. Make sure you guys are updated to all the things brand new to Uta Macross. Links to my Facebook page are on the descriptions as always. And of course, leave your comments and thoughts on this video um, about the gacha, about the Uta Hime ranking, you know, anything that's new or, you know, if you want to tell me how you guys did you know, on your own personal pools, as usual, leave your thoughts down below. And of course, leave a like to this video and appreciate the content as always. And I'll see you guys in the next Utah Macross video. Until then, bye!